Welcome back Galactic Citizens. I hope this video finds you well and that you are having tremendous weekend so far. Today we are going to talk about haters and how last Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker movie toppled box offices. For this video I don't have any particular narration or text so excuse me for any eventual mistakes. <laughs> For the moment forget all the bad news for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Here's the good news. All four of the best Decembers ever belong to Star Wars movies, including Rise of Skywalker, which made $390.7 million. That's better than Avatar, The Chronicles of Narnia and all of the Lord of the Rings movies. Rise of Skywalker captured the second best Christmas Day gross ever, with 32.2 million, which only ranks behind the highest grossing domestic movie ever, Star Wars The Force Awakens. That means Rise of Skywalker beats out movies like Sherlock Holmes, Avatar and Aquaman by a hefty margin. Only six movies ever have reached 300 uh, million dollars and 400 million faster than Rise of Skywalker did. After opening on December the 20th, 2019, the film achieved 300 million by December 27 and 400 million by January the 1st. Rise of Skywalker weirdly enough ranks above movies like Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Spider-Man Far From Home and even Star Wars The Force Awakens in a very random category. Rise of Skywalker owns the best single day non-opening gross ever for a Thursday with 30.6 million dollars. Now let's switch sides and talk a little bit about haters of Disney and Star Wars. Don't get me wrong, I'm not admiring Disney and I think there are many mistakes they made in Star Wars sequel trilogy. However, we all have to understand that hating Star Wars and spreading fake news is a serious business that actually makes money. Yes, you heard me well, every time you click on dramatic titled video How Star Wars is a Cinematic Failure, author of that type of video gets a small chunk of money from commercials that mostly annoys you before video starts. You know, those small ads about whatever. I don't like picking on people because I think it's rude and inappropriate, however guys, for the sake of truth, I need to show you a couple of examples. Take a look at this one. From top 18 videos of this author, his 12 videos is cursing Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. When you go on uh, Nox Influencer and check the status of this channel, there you go, estimate earning per video is almost $4,000. And even if we check how much hate videos are earning, we get a whopping figure of 9,000 to 11,000 dollars. Let's go to the next one. Probably you all know about this guy for which honestly I don't know what to say. Expect that he is the master of clickbait and master of fake news. This man produces sometimes 15 videos a day of fake news videos or hater Star Wars videos. But let's put my personal opinion on the side and look at the facts. Look at this for example. From the top 18 videos of this author, his 15 videos is cursing Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Let me read you a couple of titles. The Rise of Skywalker news is a train wreck. Kathleen Kennedy news is a disaster. The Rise of Skywalker leak destroys everything. Kathleen Kennedy betrayed Mark Hamill. George Lucas hates The Rise of Skywalker. And so on, I could read these titles for next 3 hours. If we again visit Nox influencer page and check statistics for this channel, we get whopping numbers again. The monthly income for this channel is between $6,000 and $20,000 and every video earns about $150, which is much less than the previous example, but still, it makes money. So, as you can see, professional hating of Star Wars franchise is big business. Always remember that authors of these disgusting stories are playing with your emotions because you are true fans of Star Wars. 
Always remember that they are making business by spreading negativity and fake news. And always remember that Star Wars is a great thing which shaped lives of many of us, including myself. And none of these pathetic jerks will ever ruin Star Wars for me, no matter what they say. So folks, that would be it for today. I simply had to express myself on the issue of haters and uh, people who are basically uh, using our emotions to this franchise to make money. If you like this review, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, may the force be with you always.